Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got something very special. A brand new content patch has just been released for Eternal Crusade. So I've been I've been playing with it all night and uh, with me and my chapter and I wanted wanted to make a video to show it off to you chaps. As you can see here now, I'm showing one of the main features off which is the grav gun. The grav gun is absolutely amazing i've been playing with it all night i've been having so much fun but there's uh some more features that have been added in this patch which i want to discuss in more detail so let's jump right in and let's get started now as you can see one of the big things to get added is new customization which is a huge huge welcome for myself we need a lot more customization in this game in my opinion a hell of a lot more but they are on the right track of adding customization so as you can see here now we have the mark 5 heresy armor which is the studded armor you can see you've got the helmet you've got the shoulder pad and you've got the legs now as much as i welcome this i'm i'm gonna go on a little rant here at the moment so please bear with me now you can equip this armor all fine and dandy it looks it it, it looks amazing but you can only equip it on a guy that hasn't got relic or artificer armor equipped so as you can see from my chap here who is a grab gun guy and he has got the uh, artificer armor here I've got that equipped but I can't equip any of the customization stuff to him because because I've got the artificer armor attached on this character it doesn't show any of the customization armor except the helmet the, the, the helmet will show but every other armor will not show which for me is a really huge disappointment because I'm spending money on this customization stuff and I can't use it. I, t I just can't use it. You know, it's basically dead money. Look, right, this is, got a, this is the Mark V Heresy armor here and when I go to put it on this guy, it's just a blank shoulder pad. What's wrong with just putting some studs on this shoulder even though I've got the Artificer armor? Is it, is it really going to be that much of an issue? You know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite disappointing really. Uh, Hopefully the devs will correct this uh, in some way because you know I'm paying all this money for it and I'm and I'm not getting it at all. Look, you can see here like I've equipped the Mark V Heresy legs and it gives me like the like the battle damage. Look, it's it's giving me the battle damage. So why not the studs? Why not just give me some studs over here and stuff? You know, it's it's just one of them things that I'm quite disappointed in, but hoping the devs will sort it out so here's hoping now on the subject of customization as you have I've already said they've added the mark 5 heresy helmet into the game but they've also added a new veteran stripe maximus helm but there's no stripe on it um, I think the stripe is obviously supposed to be the white stripe right down the middle uh, I did see a version of this helmet where it had a, uh, a sergeant's plume you know, like a Roman uh, plume on top of it, uh, which you, if you're a Warhammer fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, then uh, it's basically like a, a little brush, which uh, the Roman like uh, centurions, uh, I'm sure it's centurions or legion, uh, no, it's not legionaries, well, the, the hierarchy of the uh, Roman officers and stuff used to have above their heads there. But that's not been added to the game yet, but the helmet looks pretty nice. Now, they also had it this version of the uh, Mark 5 no sorry yeah yeah sorry the Mark 5 heresy helmet this one here they've they've this this, this was the one down here which they pre previously had which looked like this and then they've added this one that's got more pipes on it but to be completely fair I hate how this helmet looks I it just it 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 looks odd I I don't know what it is it just looks it just looks odd, yeah. It's just, it just does, doesn't. It, it looks like a. I don't know if it, if anyone ever saw like the early version work of uh, Darth Vader uh, when he was getting drawn and stuff. Uh, but it, it it looks like Darth Vader's early version helmet to me. That's that's all I can think of when I equip it. I'm like Darth Balrak. But yeah, I won't be using that. This is the uh, Mark V uh, variant I will be using on my Marines when it comes to Mark V. I like the service studs anyway, uh, a lot better. Uh, but yeah, the veteran. I'm waiting for the stripe to be added. Hopefully, it'll get added very, very soon. 
because I would like to have a stripe and I would also like to have a plume. Well, I say that, maybe if you're a, a squad leader, you get the plume on your head, no matter what helmet you have, so you could have a plume on this helmet and stuff like that, maybe that might be a pretty cool feature. Here's hoping, maybe next patch, well, maybe next couple of patches, who knows, but hopefully that will get added very, very soon. Now, also, as you can see here, there's uh, there's been more stuff added to the store for other chapters. Of course, I only play Imperial Fist, so I don't want to start spending requisition on uh, Blood Angel or Space Wolf stuff since I'll never use it. So I thought I'd jump into the store and show you on the preview. So as you can see here, we've got like a Blood Angel with the Chalice and some Blood Drops. Space Wolf, we've got this nice fancy uh, chest piece here. Again, another Space Wolf uh, chest piece with a diamond in the middle. You've got uh, an Ultramarine one there. Uh, Again, another Blood Angel, Space Wolf with a diamond in the middle, Space Wolf with a wolf on the chest, Dark, An Dark Angel with a sword through. Most of these are actually uh, some of the ones that have already been in, but I just thought I'd cover them all. Uh, Ultramarine with the gold uh, Ultra in the middle. I actually like that one. That was a, that's a real nice one. Another uh, Ka Ka oh, sorry, Dark Angel, not Chaos. <laughs> another Dark Angel chest piece. <laughs> Uh, another Blood Angel with uh, the Blood Drops, with uh, it looks like like gems they, they look like, like the colours it looks like, yeah it looks like they've done it like gems which is pretty cool. Again the same one but with a big red one in the middle, more Dark Angels, more Dark Angels, uh, a Dark Angel helmet with the Blood Drop on it. Let's move to the shoulder pads, so you've got the Chalice with the wings, Dark Angels, Ultramarine one, another Ultra one. A space wolf one with a little diamond in. Space wolf with the skull wolf skull. Do you know what? The space wolves have a lot of customization compared to the rest of us. Space wolf with two wolf heads on it. Blood angels with a blood drop. Uh, another dark angel one. Uh, and here we go. So you've got the Mark VI Corvus helmet now with the dark angel symbol on it. Uh, these, as you can see here, put little like runes through the shoulder pads and stuff. This one you can see here, but there's a lot of clipping. There's a big clipping issue on that one, so maybe hopefully that'll get sorted soon. Uh, the runic helm of Rus, as you can see here, Mark VI Corvus. It's got some runes on it. It's got a diamond on it, and the runic helm of Rus, another variant, which has got the same uh, runes on it, but a different colour. But it's missing the diamond at the top. So that is it for the customization added in this patch. Uh, let's move on to another subject. And another big thing to come in this patch is the reworking, well the ongoing reworking of the world map. Now, for people who don't know, this game is going to be campaign based, so you'll have campaigns to queue up for and battling, but it's not in yet since they, uh, basically, they're basically building up to it now. So, uh, they released an update to the world map, like the world map before didn't look anything like this, it's a lot more bright, it looks like we've got some texture behind it. Yeah, yeah, do you know what it looks like? It actually looks like the moon's surface when I first saw it. You can see some like buildings here and stuff. It actually that looks like Black Bolt there. Uh, so it looks like they're putting some overlaying, some maps and stuff like that. But the interesting thing in this now, like, let's see, let's go over to here now. So this is Space Marines vs Chaos. Now as you can see here now, what I can do, I can click on these matches which are going on. So there's three matches going on between Space Marines and Chaos at the moment. We've got 15 Space Marines in this match and 15 Chaos. Now I can join these matches now, uh, either single player or with a group and come and help out. You know, it, it tells you how long it's been going on for, what game it is, uh, and obviously the player count here and obviously the, what which map it's going on. So if I switch now, it's uh, Forge District Zedic. That's been going on for eight minutes and it is a skirmish. If I go over to the Eldar, let's see if in the Eldar match is going on. There's one Eldar match going on, of course. So we have 11 Space Marines versus 6 Eldar. The match is just started, or it's just about to start. And it's a skirmish. So yeah, this is the first iteration of the new world map which will be coming. Apparently the campaigns start next week, so I'll try and do a video for that and see what details that holds. But I'm really, really looking forward to that to see how it goes. Because, yeah, it should be a really, really, really fun uh, map so yeah let's see how it goes and hopefully one day maybe in the near future we can have one big map where we can just roam around in vehicles and just fight each other here's hoping 
And the next thing we're going to be showing off is the new weapons which have been added to the game, which are the grav guns. And as you can see here, I'm playing with the heavy grav gun. So this is the Devastator class with the grav gun. Now, I've played with this in some matches tonight, and I can tell you from personal experience, this gun is quite fantastic. I have been having so much fun being anti-vehicle, uh, anti-infantry, you know. Uh, the me the melee enemy I'm going against are having a really hard time uh, trying to assault me. There's, there's one thing I've noticed, though, is that if you do a heavy attack while the grav gun is on you, it seems that there's no slowdown effect at all. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or is that meant to be like that, but it seems that the grav gun has no slowdown if someone's doing heavy attack. So okay, let's shoot the gun and let's see the effect and the sound effects and stuff like that because it is kind of cool. So let's go. As you can see like to the bottom right, the the heat bar, you know, it, you, you actually do have quite of a good burst when you're actually firing the gun as you can see here now look it's you know you you, you can get quite of a lot of uh, shots out onto it so this gun can actually do quite a lot of damage which if you pair it with another grab gun or you pair it with someone who's got a melter gun I was doing it tonight with my friends who who had melter guns the gun becomes very very devastating if you can get someone with a melter gun uh, going around and uh, assisting uh, to kill tanks and stuff so it is really really useful uh, if you can pair yourself off with someone as well. But yeah, I'm really, really loving this gun. Uh, let's switch up and I'll show you on my Tactical Marine. So here we have it on the Tactical Marine. As you can see here, this is the Tactical version. This is the... Just the... Yeah, just the basic grav gun, really. As you can see, I've also got... Let me see if I can switch it up. I've got the grav pistol as well. Uh, I had enough points to fit the grav pistol onto this class. As a Devastator you don't have sidearms yet which is quite disappointing but hopefully they'll come soon. But as you can see the Grav Pistol is just like the other Grav Gun. Uh, you can see the actual uh, effect, the uh, cooldown on it is a lot faster than the uh, the heavy variant of it for the Devastator. Look you can see how fast that bar fills up. Now if we, if we switch over to the main Grav Gun which is the main tactical weapon, again the Grav Gun and this, it can put out quite a bit of a burst onto people uh, before it goes into uh, cooldown mode. Now, the, these guns are not for an output of damage. They're there to crowd control people. You know, they can do damage. They can do damage as we go over here now. Look, if you can see here, look, it's just a lot of nines, but there's a lot of damage being applied to the target. If, if, it, if the target stays still, then the target's got to get a lot of damage. So it's up to the person who's receiving the damage to move and weave and stuff like that. But for me, this gun is all about crowd control. It's it, it's about stopping those Eldar players, those uh, Chaos players, uh, the Jump Assault Marines, all, you know, the the Howling Banshees, all them kind of players, it, it, it really does help slow them down in mid-combat, so maybe your uh, your melee guys can rush in and put more shots on them since they're uh, all slowed down and they can't walk, oh sorry, they can't attack as fast. But, like I said previously, I think there is a bug where if you're doing heavy attacks, uh, it really doesn't have that much, the grav gun doesn't really have that much effect. So I'm hoping uh, that gets either fixed or they explain the uh, mechanics why that is uh, taking place. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. I uh, just want to show off some of the features which have come out in this latest patch. Of course, like I always do, I will leave a link in the description of the patch notes uh, so you can go and read them for yourself. Uh, they've had, well, they added something to do with the melee system and stuff in game, which I haven't really noticed to be completely fair. People are still swing spamming their way to me, so I'll give that a little bit of a read, but. Again, you can go and read all the stuff that's been added and all the changes and stuff in your own time. So thank you for watching the video. It's been fun. Uh, as a whole, this patch has been pretty decent. Uh, performance issues, I haven't really noticed any, to be fair, since I've always had a decent performance in this game. But for people who have been complaining about performance, maybe this patch has helped out in a way. But yeah, 
uh, it's a good patch, uh, and uh, hoping to see some more coming uh, before Christmas and stuff. I can't wait to see the campaigns next week, so let's see how it goes, and hopefully I'll have some good stuff to report back on. So, have a nice night, chaps, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.